For any programmer working professionally on a team, good commit messages should be a top priority. It's extremely important to have a clear and concise Git history in your project. If your project has an unclear commit history, it may be difficult for other engineers to fix bugs or inspect your code and understand what the hell is going on. Honestly, fellas, a dirty commit history makes you look like a chump and daddy ain't no chump. And I don't want you to be either. So let me show you how to be an absolute wizard in Git and clean your commit history using two different techniques, squashing commits interactively or resetting your commits and using Git add patch to rebuild your history. Let's go. Now, I understand that you can't perfectly predict the code you're going to write. You may open a branch for a new feature, make some commits, change some stuff around to accommodate someone's suggestions, and fix a typo or two. Before you know it, your commit history looks silly, and it would be hard for anyone to follow your code through those commits. In this scenario, I think it would be best to clean up these commits and make your history more succinct before merging a pull request. The first way to clean up your commits is by interactively rebasing them all the way back to your main branch. So let's take a look at what it would look like to clean up your history by rebasing. Let's say you have three commits on a branch and that branch is ahead of your main. When you rebase, you essentially pick a commit that you want to rebase back to, you pop all those commits off, and you're able to squash them down into one or two good commits that you can then push back on top of your main branch. Let's see what this looks like in practice. So in our repository on this branch, we can see that it contains some commits that are not great. So what we want to do is pick a commit that we want to rebase back to. The rebase flow will grab all of our commits up to and including the commit you pick, pop us into a detached head state where we can edit our commit messages and even the changes within each commit. We see we want to rebase back to our sixth commit, so we type git rebase i head tilde six. We could have also used the commit hash for this, but head tilde six looks cooler and we all know per programming is about looking cool more than anything else. When we run the command, we are popped into the interactive rebase flow. We can see all the commits we are rebasing and a bunch of examples of what we can do with each commit. To make our history look good, we merely want to reword our first commit because the title wasn't great and keep our second two commits because they actually convey real changes. Now the bottom three commits are essentially me making a typo, reversing it, and adding some smaller changes, so let's squash those into one commit. When we save and close this buffer, we are pushed into the first commit we want to reword. We can change the wording on that commit to make sense. Then when we save that buffer, we are pushed into the second change, which is squashing those bottom three commits. In this example, we want to just fix one of the commit titles and remove the rest of the garbage and save that file. Then we are finished with rebasing. If we check our history, we can see our rebase changes above the original changes that are still in GitHub. We have successfully rewritten our commit history to look much nicer, and we can force push our changes to the remote, in this case GitHub, to finish things off. Now if we check GitHub, we can see our history looks much nicer. But let's look at another way to rewrite your history that I personally find much easier to understand. And that is to reset your working index to a certain part of history and just redoing your commits. When resetting, essentially what you're doing is moving your current working index back to a certain commit and leaving the changes behind while throwing away the commits themselves. This leaves you with a blank slate of work that you can recommit any way you want. My favorite way is by using git add patch. Let's see what this looks like in real life. When looking at your history, pick a commit hash that you want to reset your branch back to. Then you write git reset with the commit SHA you picked. This will drop all of your commits, but it will leave you with the changes you made to the files themselves. You can check this out by calling git diff and seeing the changes. From here, my favorite way to rebuild history is to use git add patch, which allows you to stage certain hunks of code to build commits. When running git add patch, I can see the first commit I want to make is the changes that add a new calculation. I quit out of the second hunk because I know I only want to use this first hunk as a new commit. Then I call git commit and create a new message for this commit that looks nice. Then I run git add patch again and see another hunk of changes I want to commit. But this hunk should probably be two different commits. So I edit the hunk to make one commit for a new test and then another commit for fixing a typo. Now that all our commits are set up, we can force push our changes back onto our branch and we can see those new commits and they look real nice. Honestly, git add patch is something I use every single day as a professional developer. I don't know how I could live without it. Anyways, that's how I would reset my git history to make nice, meaningful commits. If you want to learn more about git add patch, check out this video next. And hey, thanks nerds.